Hi everyone, I'm Basil Lilamra, tutor for financial reporting at Capen School of Accountancy and Management. Let's have a quick recap of IAS 20 accounting for government grant. Now, accounting for government grant, it can be accounted under two methods. Method one, the government grant should be reduced from cost of the asset and depreciate this reduced cost of the asset. Second method, treat the government grant received as a deferred income. Deferred income will be shown as a liability in SOFP and an amount equal to the depreciation method should be recognized as income. In SOPL, we'll do a problem on that to identify how much amount should be recognized as an income in SOPL. Next, this deferred income should be split into current liability as well as known current liability. And what amount should you show in current liability? The amount that will be recognized as an income in SOPL next year should be recognized as a current liability. So to understand this better, let's do a problem from ACCA financial reporting past paper on June 2014. I have adapted this question to suit our requirement. Read the question. On 1st April 2013, Skeptic received a government grant of $8 million towards the purchase of a new plant with a gross cost of $64 million. The plant has an estimated life of 10 years and is depreciated on a straight line basis. Skeptic accounts for government grant as a separate item of deferred credit in its statement of financial position. So the question very clearly states that skeptic is accounting as per method number two. And the question is that calculate amount to be recognized in SOPL for the year ended 31st March 2014 and deferred income balance at 31st March 2014 and also show the split between current liability and non-current liability. So let's do this with the help of a scratch pad, basically not pad. So the first thing you have to know what amount should be recognized in SOPL. Now I told you an amount to be recognized in SOPL should be based on the depreciation method. So let's look at what is the depreciation method. Depreciation method is 10 years. And how much is the government grant received? 8 million. So amount to be recognized, amount to be recognized as an income in SOPL. It is based on depreciation method. So the amount received as a government grant, government grant received is 8 million. So it will be dollar 8 million divided by useful life. Useful life is 10 years, straight line method. So amount to be recognized in SOPL every year will be 8 million divided by 10 years equal to 0.8 million dollars. Next, the second question is, how much will be the amount of deferred income balance at 31st March 2014? So the, on 1st April, on 1st April 2013, government grant received. So we are following method number two. In method number two, government grant received should be shown as a deferred income liability in SOFP. So this is basically deferred income. Deferred income, how much is the deferred income? Dollar eight million. Now at the year end, you have recognized on 31st March 2014, an amount should be recognized as income in SOPL based on the depreciation method. That amount to be recognized in income in SOPL, we have already found out in option A, in question number A. So amount recognized as income in SOPL, already done in SOPL. That is equal to 0 0.8 million, 0 0.8 million. So less. So you have already recognized this. So how much is the balance on 31st March 2014? 
balance of deferred income equal to dollar 7.2 million now this 7.2 million should split into current liability and non current liability so what amount should be shown as current liability an amount that you will recognize in income in sopl next year so what is that an amount that you will recognize as an income in sopl next year so since raitlin method is followed next year also you will be recognizing dollar 0.8 million income so out of 7.2 million deferred income liability 0.8 million is current liability so the balance amount will be shown as current liability 6.4 million will be shown as a current liability so now we have answered all the question amount of grant to be recognized in sopl is 0.8 million deferred income at year end 31st march 2014 7.2 million it should be split into current liability of 0.8 million and non current liability of 6.4 million so continuing next if conditions satisfied by government are not followed government will ask the entity to repay it so in case of repayment how will you account if you are following method number 1 that is you were reducing you have reduced government grant from cost of the asset then you do the opposite you increase the carrying value of the asset and write off till date accumulated depreciation similarly if you were following method number 2 that is when government grant was received you have considered it as a deferred income then when you are repaying government grant reduce the deferred income balance by amount repayable that is cancel the deferred income how will you cancel debit deferred income is a liability so it will be credited now since you are cancelling it debit it write off till date accumulated depreciation as an expense in sopl now let's practice one more question from acca financial reporting examination september 2016 question number 3 which has been asked as a multiple choice question now read the requirement which journal entry is required to reflect the correct accounting treatment of government grant and equipment in financial statement of garden bugs company for the year ended 31st december 20x7 on 1st january x6 garden bugs received a dollar 30000 government grant relating to equipment which cost dollar 90000 and had a useful life of 6 years the grant was netted off against cost of the equipment that means when government grant was received they reduced government grant from cost of the equipment that is method number 1 was followed on 1st january 20x7 when the equipment had a carrying amount of 50000 its use was changed so that it was no longer being used in accordance with the grant this means the grant needed to be repaid in full by full but by 31st december but this has not been yet done so now we are learning how to account a refund of government grant under method number 1 so as we learned under method if government grant is refunded first thing you have to cancel the accumulated depreciation cancel the accumulated depreciation accumulated depreciation will be normally credit so to cancel accumulated depreciation you will have to debit the depreciation accumulated depreciation so now how much is the accumulated depreciation for that we have to start from the beginning on 1st january 20x6 asset was purchased at a cost of 90000 so cost is dollar 90000 all figures are in dollar so dollar 90000 now which method they were following they following method number 1 that is government grant received is accounted as a reduction from cost so on 1st january 20x1 since method number 1 is followed that is when government grant is received it is reduced 
so less government grant it is reduced from cost of the asset so government grant received is 30000 so on 1st january 20x now the value of the asset or reduced cost equal to $60,000. Now we have to depreciate on this reduced cost. So 31st December 1st year 20x6 depreciation will be the 60,000 minus residual value divided by useful life. If question is silent, we have to assume that straight line method was followed. So that is 60,000 divided by 6, 10,000. And in 31st December 20x7, again, we will depreciate this. Since we are following straight line method, depreciation will be 10,000. So now accumulated depreciation, we have to cancel accumulated depreciation of two years. So accumulated depreciation of two years is 10,000 into two, that is dollar 20,000. And since accumulated depreciation cancel means we have to debit it. So debit depreciation expense will be 20,000. So we have got the first one. Option A will be the answer. Debit depreciation expense, 20,000. Now, how much is your liability that you have to pay? How much is the refund of government grant? You have to refund government grant. You have received 30,000. So you have to pay it back. It has not been done. So it will have to be paid. So it is payable. So credit, credit payable. So there is a liability of 30,000. Now liability 30,000, debit, de de accumulated depreciation 20,000. So the balance debit will go to PPE. That means PPE should be added. So PPE added means it should be debited 10,000. So that's all with IAS 20 government grant. Now what we have learned in question number two, we have learned how to account government grant under method number one that is reduced cost method and how to show depreciation. And if there is a repayment of government grant, how to account it. And we have also learned method number two, how to account government grant as a deferred income and how to split that deferred income into current liability and non-current liability. And what should be the amount to be shown as an income with respect to deferred income in SOPL every year. So thank you everyone. If you have liked this video, give your likes and give your positive comment as it would motivate me and encourage me to bring more such videos. And don't forget to subscribe and no, press the notification bar so that you will know whenever I upload my new videos. And to know more about my upcoming classes, you can follow me on my Instagram channel, Learn with Basil Nilamra. Thank you everyone. All the best for your upcoming ACCA financial reporting examination.